G'day viewers, welcome to Wimble Train. Today we're revisiting the reversing loop. As you may know, I did a video previously on a manual reversing loop. Now I did have a comment on that video recently saying there's an easier way to do it and uh, provides continuous running with just the flick of one switch. So thanks to the viewer who provided that comment and that information. Now I've uh, wired it all up here. So I'll put up a um, diagram of how this is all wired up, but basically what happens is from our controller here, we are feeding into this reversing switch. So at the moment it's in the normal position, so it's just straight through. And then that's connected to the left-hand side of our turnout, so on the main line. And then as well as that, we've got power feed coming from here fed over to the reversing loop because um, this section here from here all the way around to here is isolated so there's isolated joiners there and there so the reversing switch is just a double pole double throw switch as shown here and all the wiring details you can see on the diagram and how it all works so now it's just a matter of running that train into the loop around this, we'll run it around that way. And then when it's inside the loop, we'll switch the turnout and we'll flick the reversing switch all without the train stopping. It'll just continue through the loop. So I'll just show you how that works now. So what I'll do first is I'll actually stop the train in the loop so I can show you what's going on and then we'll just run it continuously through. So at the moment I've got the controller in the forwards position and we're going to run straight ahead. The turnout is uh, in a straight position. So we've got the two red lights there either side of the isolated section. So the red means positive and no lead means negative. So we should be able to run through there. So we just put some throttle So once the uh, train's in the loop, I'll just stop it there for a second, because then we need to switch the turnout, which we'll do here. So you'll see if we come over to um, these LEDs here where the train's going to come back on, and I'll just apply a little bit of throttle to show you the LEDs. So we've got the positive on the opposite rails, which isn't going to work. So basically, we come over to our reversing switch and I'll flick that in the reverse position and we'll watch the LEDs. So we have positive on both sides of the rail now. So now if we continue leaving our throttle in the forwards position, you might remember in the previous um, video we had to like reverse the throttle but we don't need to do that here then the train just should run through without an issue. So we'll set that up again and uh, we'll just run it continuously through the loop next time. So we've got the throttle in the forwards position again. We've got the uh, turnout set to straight, the reversing switch in a normal position. And now we'll just run the train forward, and this time we won't stop it through the loop. We'll just run it nice and slow. Now once that's passed through, now we can switch our turnout and operate the reversing switch. And then the train just should come all the way through without stopping. There it goes. Beautiful. So with the throttle in the forward position, our LEDs on the straight route of the uh, turnout, which is what we're going to run first, are both positive on the bottom rail. And that'll allow us to run our train through. And as it goes around, 
we'll need to flick the reversing switch and operate the turnout. So when we get to here, we'll see if we don't flick the reversing switch and the turnout, then we will end up with incorrect polarities either side of that isolated section. So when we flick the reversing switch and the turnout, then we will get the correct polarity. The throttle will not need to be adjusted for the direction and the train will just go through the turnout and back onto the main line. So that's about it for this video. Thanks to the uh, person who commented on my last video and showed me this uh, much improved way of uh, operating a reversing loop manually. I'll just run it through one more time. And uh, this is John at Wimbledon saying, uh, always enjoy your model railways and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.